In the last video, we took a look at work, force, and distance. We also took a closer look at the English and metric units for work. Now we will go through a few examples using work, force, and distance. In our first example, we have a worker pushing a 350 pound cart a distance of 30 feet by exerting a constant force of 40 pounds. We want to know how much mechanical work this person has accomplished. First, let's look at our equation circle. In this problem, we want to solve for work. Covering up work, we see we are left with force multiplied by distance. The next trick is deciding which of the values in this problem we need to use for force. We know that the weight of the cart is 350 pounds and the person applies a force of 40 pounds. In this case, the weight force is not acting in the direction of motion, so it doesn't matter how much the cart weighs. All that matters is the 40 pound force that the worker is applying in the direction of motion, so we need to use 40 pounds as the force. The distance is 30 feet. Multiplying, we see that we end up with 1,200 foot-pounds of work. Let's take a look at another example. Here, a crane uses 2,000 joules to lift a crate to a height of 30 meters. We want to find out how much the crate weighs. In this case, the weight is going to equal our lifting force because we are assuming there is no acceleration and that we have steady motion. Looking at our equation circle, we see that we are solving for force, so if we cover up force, we are left with work divided by distance. We can substitute 2,000 joules in for the work, and the distance we are lifting the crate is 30 meters. Dividing, we end up with 66.7 newtons. Again, if you aren't sure of what your final unit should be, refer back to the unit circles we looked at earlier. What happens if the force is not acting in exactly the same direction of motion? For example, if you are pulling a wagon, the handle of the wagon is lower than your body, so you aren't applying a force in exactly the direction of motion. In these cases, we have to modify our equation for work. If the force is being applied at an angle, then work is equal to the force multiplied by the distance multiplied by the cosine of the angle. The angle that we are looking at is the angle between the force and the motion. In this example, we have the force being applied in an angle to the direction of motion. Here, a dad pulls a wagon along level ground a distance of 30 meters by exerting a constant force of 50 newtons at an angle of 30 degrees with the ground. How much work does he do? In our class, whenever the force is being applied at an angle, we will only be solving for work. Therefore, we know that work is equal to the force multiplied by the distance multiplied by the cosine of the angle. We can take 50 newtons for the force, 30 meters for the distance, and multiply that by the cosine of 30 degrees because the angle between the ground and the force is 30 degrees. Therefore, our final answer is 1,300 newton meters or 1,300 joules. This concludes our discussion on solving problems involving work, force, and distance.